Welcome to BKW Physics. I'm Mr. McConley. We're going to do a classic demonstration today, which is a bell in a jar. And as you can see when I turn on the power, the bell is ringing inside the jar. But the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start pumping the air out of the jar. This is a, um, a pretty antique, old-fashioned uh, device, a vacuum pump, and it will suck the air through the nozzle out of the jar, down through an oil bath, and then it pumps the, the air out the end here. And so what will happen is slowly the air is being pulled from this glass container. And you may already notice as you're listening, and it might be hard to hear on the video, but the people in the room can verify that the, the bell is getting quieter. Agreed? What this shows us is that, remember there were two types of waves. There were material waves and there were electromagnetic waves. Material waves need material to travel through. Sound is a material wave. So when we take away the material, air, now the sound has a lot of difficulty. In fact, it can't travel. But you're always going to hear a little bit of the bell, and I ask you why. What about this scenario, about this physical situation, makes it so you're always going to hear a little bit. Uh, the sound can travel up through the wires. And Very the smart. Wire. Good answer, Luke. So the, the sound can travel up through these wires, shaking those wires, and then actually you're hearing the wires shaking because eventually they come out here, so you're vibrating the metal, and you're actually going to hear through the wires. Because there's no way to suspend the bell, really, and not have it touch something. It's the best I can do. So at this point, I've sucked a, a whole bunch of air out, and you can probably even tell in the video that it's a lot quieter than it was. And then, and then I can let the air back in as the bell continues to ring. Hopefully. Yeah, we're getting there. So that's how much air I pulled out, and you can hear as the air re-enters the bell comes back up to its original loudness. So, material waves need material to travel through. 